It's so cool. Have you checked out WXEdge.com yet? It's News 8's new website for their sources on everything from anything that's related to the weather and uh, weather. Edge team members are here right now helping us put things together on a regular basis. We have stuff coming in from all over the state, and these are people that are all part of WX Edge. So if you haven't checked that out, WXEdge.com. And actually, one of our contributors is here in the studio with us when she's not out there taking pictures and doing cool <laughs> things all over the state. Lisa Smith, she's a writer and a photographer. Thank you so Thank much you. for joining me. Thank you. So how's your experience been since you've been doing stuff with WXEdge.com? It's been interesting only because I've been learning so much more about Connecticut. I've been here since 91. I'm a transplant. So in doing all those articles, I really started um, understanding Connecticut and what makes it the history and the parks and all of that. Now, what kind of articles do you put on there? Because I think a lot of people, when they hear WXEdge.com or this you know, whole Weather Edge thing, that they think it's just a bunch of pictures of storms. So mm -hmm. give us an idea. Well, basically, the way I approached it is that I was looking for activities that you can do outdoors. Okay. Because, of course, the weather sort of governs you know, where you go and what you do in these activities. So I was looking at hunting, biking, fishing, so on and so forth. And that was basically my goal with that website, just exploring mm -hmm. all these things and, and what you can do in Connecticut in these activities. But you put falconry on there. Tell me how falconry, I didn't know we had falconry in Connecticut. What's that all about? Well, falconry, it was very interesting only because I was doing research on hunting in Connecticut and for permits, and I noticed that falconry was one of them. So it kind of just branched off, and I started researching falconry and that it's allowed in Connecticut to hunt uh, small quarry and birds of prey and things of that nature. So what's involved? I mean, do you go out there and train a falcon? Is that, is that how they do that? What's involved with falconry? There are certain steps that are involved. You have to get state and federal permits. Mm -hmm. And um, basically, yes, you train a bird of prey. You can't purchase a bird in the state. You have to get it from out of state, and you have to make sure that it's sterilized so that it doesn't breed with native birds of prey. And you basically train it uh, through a series of steps until you become a master falconer. Uh, I guess, now, I guess now, you're, now, I'm a big hiker. I love to take my dogs on all kinds of new places to explore. Where would you, being the aficionado that you are, <laughs> where would you say are the best places in Connecticut to go hiking? I am biased only because I love the Devil's Hop Yard in yeah. East Haddam. Oh, that um, is beautiful. It is a beautiful and, uh, you know, the whole thing with the witches and the hemlock. And I used to take my sons there when they were little, when they were in Boy Scouts. So I'm kind of partial to it, the running stream, the two different hiking trails that lead to just beautiful vista views mm -hmm. of all of um, that part of the county. So I'm biased. Now, what about some other places around Connecticut that people might not know of? Well, Bluff Point is one of them that I really didn't know about, and I lived in Groton for a number of years. Mm -hmm. And um, you have the view of the Long Island Sound. Um, it's right near the airport, so you get to see all the Cessnas taking off and um, just beautiful views from there as well. Now, I'm, a big, I'm, I'm from the, uh, the Hartford area, mm -hmm. and, you know, and I, I really... I've, I go out to uh, West Hartford Reservoir all the time. Can you tell us, have you been out there yet? Have you checked out anything at the West Hartford Reservoir? No, the only thing that I know about um, is the, um, the winding brook that goes through West Hartford. So that was interesting. I didn't even know there was a reservoir and that you could go to that reservoir and do biking and hiking. Oh, you got to do it. You gotta, I'm, not, I'm not kidding. <laughs> it's so family friendly and you could just go out there and like, but you say, you know, this, you find all these great little things. But the key is, you know, it's finding the good connections. What about out in, um, I think there was one that you you mentioned in um, North Coscob or something, or what was that one down there? That, as far as the biking goes, mm -hmm. very popular. That's mm -hmm. ra that's ranked like number one place to for go biking. on biking for biking. I guess because of the challenge of the trail. Mm -hmm. I mean, for hardcore bikers, they're looking for steep inclines and you know, being able to go on the straightaway or whatever they refer to it as. So it was just ranked like high, high on the list. Right here in Connecticut. Right it's one here of the in best. Connecticut. Mm -hmm. You gotta love it because you gotta get out. You gotta get out. You gotta exercise. You gotta hike. You gotta bike. You gotta take your puppies with you. For the complete list, you can go to WXEdge.com. You're gonna love that site and search Lisa Smith. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us. Thank and being part you. Part of our site. Part of our part of our team out there. We appreciate <laughs> it. Up next.